everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're looking at Elements of the Gods. Yep. After, what, 14 minutes of happy, uh, seven minutes of happy music? <laughs> do, 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 do. Sorry, we had a little bit of, uh, we had a few questions about the game before we, we wanted to make sure we clarified. Um, uh, and uh, this is a still in prototype. Yes. It is currently on Kickstarter. So if you're interested, after we yeah, play we should, through... I should have got a link ready, but I did not. No, I it's fine. Like a... maybe, maybe Type she... Elements of the Gods oh, Kickstarter Derek... <laughs> in Google and you'll find it. <laughs> Derek will help us Derek out. Always, I see Derek, Derek in the chat. Derek always He'll, he'll find it. it for us. He's, he's, he's on it, hopefully. He's on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's currently so, on Kickstarter. This is in prototype form, but you played this in prototype form. Which is crazy. Like <laughs> two and a half years ago, something like yeah. that. Yeah, so uh, when I was working for Renegade Games back in... Of January 2018, they had me looking at uh, a few different prototypes that were in pretty early stages. And I guess Renegade so passed up on it. That's when I worked for Renegade, yeah. Mm. Well, it was like the end of 2017 into 2018. Mm. And uh, so I guess they passed on it, and now it's finally coming to... I'm like, wait, when Michael was reading the rules to this, I was like, I've played this before. <laughs> and then I went back to... Not like, a new-to-me game, though. <laughs> not a new-to-me game. It's totally... Nothing's changed. I didn't write a review for it at the time because it, it was a, you know early prototype and Renegade wanted to keep it on the DL. So I, I didn't write about it. It didn't, That's but I'm like, I remember in, this in, in game. The, people in the industry say that on the DL is really on the down low. Oh, the down low. <laughs> hush, hush, hush. No, they know. <laughs> Sherry says listening to the music for too long might not be too good for my mental health. <laughs> Sorry, we wanted to start actually, a little bit earlier, um, but yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna email one of Steph's favorite artists to try to get licensing <laughs> for one of his songs. That would be great. So there's a really great. That'll song be a that Christmas present to oh, her. Oh, that'd if be I do such that, a good so. present. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, um, that's what I'm. I'm. It would only considering be like, for your Christmas present. I know, so we only need like we only need like thirty seconds of the of that song. Yes. Like just the intro of that. And it's song. one of your favorites. Too. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But yeah. And Maybe. we can actually, Who knows? Who knows? and we can actually play some of the lyrics because it actually works. So, you know, so let's go. So let's go. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, that would be really cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I'm going to work on it. He's no really, promises. No problem. I know, I know. But uh, yeah, he's actually a really cool guy, so you never know, you know? Yeah. But uh, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at Elements of the Gods. Yeah. So a place from one to, I assume, I think it's five, five players I think, because I think there are five. five colors. There but are five colors. But since this is a review copy, it says... It's a review copy, and there's no information of player count or <laughs> duration or anything. We have solo cards and whatnot, but we... Why is this in there? I don't know. Maybe I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> or did you not want to play with that card? I hate that card. <laughs> why does he hate the cards? Why does he... <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we, have the, we got cool little laminated player aids, which I assume will be normal player aids. Some 3D printed minis. I mean, these are rather large. So, uh, looking at it on the overhead here. I mean, it, it, these are fairly uh, yeah, significant. The, and they're all different. Uh, pass them over to me. We have the moons with the holes in them. I can't see mine you at all. You can't even <laughs> so, <laughs> I can show that one here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that'll be the ghost meeple. Um, Thank you, Shrey. They probably could have chosen a better color than chocolate brown. And it, these might not be final. I, don't, I haven't looked at the Kickstarter. Um, but but you can get the shape. I mean, um, I like we that they're all got, different shapes. They're all different shapes. We have the yellow, yellow thing that looks the like <laughs> something that I probably should not. Uh, Talk mention about <laughs> and then the white standing stones <laughs> yeah this looks like a plug of some sort yeah, i just yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, okay. no <laughs> all right all right all right, all right. <laughs> but uh no but they're all different oh dustin welcome to the chat we had a few questions for you as we go through yes the rules, so oh uh, yes we're, <laughs> we're happy you're here because <laughs> we don't want to play wrong so oh and this I believe, Dustin, that you had super glued it, and it did not survive USPS. Where's the bottom half? I think it's in the box. I threw oh, it in the there box. there it is. I do not think that your green piece survived 
the trip. We noticed <laughs> the fine. we noticed the super glue residue, but this is, this is the green playing piece, and it makes this really cool tree. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to play just, with just the, the top, top. which is fine. Which is fine because you get the you still you still get the leaves on it. I mean, it's, yeah, these these were not three D printed. These, these are actual molds, I think. Well, Dustin would know. Dustin would know, but yeah, these I think these are better than than the large. Yeah, these are three D printed though. But than, again, it's than just the a large prototype. monuments. So so we have the water one. It looks so dark. It is. It does look dark. And we have plenty of light showing yeah, on it. Yeah, look at Michael. And the, it's blown out. The more light that you put on it, we've discovered, <laughs> the, dark the darker it gets. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> so we have the clear. This is not red or pink, actually. It's actually it's clear. Actually clear. <laughs> resin plus earth element equals fragile. Oh, they're, they're resin. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And we've black, got the... So the, the death. Death evil... Uh, I wish you could see the detail on this thing. Maybe when we get the overhead camera on, I'll show you. Yeah. And then the fire, uh, which that, is that one is red, and you can sort of see it's red, but it gets see through with our red with our pink screen. So yeah, let's go to the overhead real quick. Can show what this this death looks like. I mean, it really looks like a death figure. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. So anyway, um, and then Dustin, you can tell us if we're wrong uh, on some of these. Definitely not final colors. We'll be colorblind friendly. Uh, one suggestion that I have is to not make it color sided unfriendly because we've seen some colorblind friendly color palettes that are like grays and browns and beiges, and I'm like, ugly. It is not good at all. <laughs> Yeah, I like the color. I would, I I would color. rather have these colors than yeah. have it be yeah. shades of nothing. You know like what I'm neutral. saying? It's neutral. Shades of neutral and pastel. Yeah, no, I, I, I like not color. Great. So. I like color. The yeah. colors that you have chosen, they pop on the board, which is good. If you put the pink and the yellows and the browns and the whites out there, you'll see that, I mean, you can easily tell on the board where these are. Yeah. So there is that. I mean, yeah, it's really good. I mean, you can see them all even from a distance. Yeah. So whoops, I just. It's fine. Sure, I'll just move two, two random it's ones all, back. It's all random. It's all random. Oh yeah, that one's mine. Yeah, it goes to you. <clears throat> so, um, in this game, we are going to uh, choose one of the five elements and place it on the board, and then the element that we choose is going to manipulate the board in some way and then we're gonna build monuments and gardens and score points by playing cards and at the end of the game we're gonna score points for the worshipers these are all little worshipers that are in our domain notice that we have four different colors of worshipers we got the red and the green and the purple and the white that's it that's all we have yep. and then we have you can show them up a, close. They're, they're kind of smaller they're, than normal meeples, but they are normal meeples. But they are normal, Again, yes. um, Dustin might tell us if they're going to be changing, but that's what they are for now. That's so dark. It is so dark. I don't understand. You can you can adjust it as as I, I discuss. This will be this will be your thing that you do every time. I mean, it's because because it, it never it's stays. Fine, and then it never and then stays. I go to the the intro page, and then everything cancels again. All right. So on uh, on a two player game, you're only going to be using everything within this. This outer row will not be used. The outer square, if you will. Yeah. And we only pre-place worshippers in the middle five by five section. It will be uh, for more than two players. You're going to expand out to the edges of the board. Um, the gardens will be on the corner, and the other ones will just all be. Will, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they will be placed uh, just everywhere within the borders of the gardens, nothing on the outside edge. Mm. Um, yeah, one or two players use the inset seven by seven spaces. Yeah. So I set it up correctly. You did. I I'm, tried. <laughs> I'm explaining. I, you did set it up correctly. I'm just explaining what you would do if you're more than two players. Well, there's a back. Yeah, there's different. a back side for three players. And oh, think, and that's then, right. There then, is a back and then side. And you'll use this for more than for four players. Yeah. And it's all the way out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yes. So. 
who's who's gonna be first? Alexa, choose a random number from one to a hundred. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Totally you. Totes. All right. So on your turn, you can place an element. These Look. five things are elements. Do, do, I think do, you have to place do. an element. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, you said can. Well, <laughs> the rules say may. <laughs> no, you may place an element on any space except a space with a, a monument. These are monuments. A garden. These little squares are gardens. They all look different, but they are basically. Just the same. Yeah, they they, they don't... All gardens act all, the same. All gardens are gardens. Yes. And you cannot place an element on a space with another element. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that. Nope. So you're going to choose an element. You're going to carry out its effect. So what do they do? Look at this handy dandy chart. This tells exactly what they do. So when you place a water element, you are going to pull one type of meeple, one color of meeple, basically, and you're going to pull it Pull them into the water space. Uh, if you choose fire, you are going to scatter one type of meeple one space away from fire. And you will also uh, scatter all of the worshipers of that type inside the fire space. So inside the space plus around. So uh, you're going you get to choose where the ones in the middle go, but the, if there are multiple of that color, they all have to go to a separate space. Uh, Dustin, I do have a question. Can you choose a color to scatter that does not exist? So if you like, if you only have red, green, and purple, can you choose to scatter gray, but there's no gray there? Mm -hmm. I mean, you are choosing a type of worshiper. Right. So according to my strict interpretation of the rules, I would say, yes, you would be able to. But that is a question that I thought needed to be answered. So if you choose wind, the clear one. Uh, you are going to select a type of worshiper and a three by three square of spaces orthogonally adjacent to wind. Mm -hmm. Push all the worshipers of that type one space away with from the space with wind and that space that wind is in. Push them all the same direction, one space. My question, Dustin, is must you choose a valid three by three grid or can you choose just whatever's remaining. For example, if you put this wind here, you clearly don't have a three by three space this direction. You've right. only got two spaces remaining because this row doesn't exist. Yeah. Can you choose that direction? I am not sure of the answer to that. I, I think so. but Because it does say choose a worshiper and a three by three square of spaces. Yeah, yeah. By those rules, there's not a three by three square of spaces. Yes. And I'm assuming if you do choose a square, a three by three square and they bump up against the it wall, just they're just stopped. So that's fine. That I don't have as much of a, a problem with. If you choose earth, you are going to birth five random worshipers from the bag and you're going to put them on the space with earth. Earth is the only element that can be put on a space with a garden. So remember that rule I said, don't put an element on the space with the garden. That doesn't apply to earth. You can put earth with the garden. Mm, yes. Um, if you have any worshipers in your afterlife area, we're going to talk about that in just a second with the death one. Um, you may the you may first place up to five of them on the space with Earth, and then birth random worshipers from the bag. So, uh, worshipers in your afterlife are actually worth points a lot of times, mm. based on whatever end game cards, end game bonuses that you have. So you might think, well, why do I want to do that? Well, some of those other in-game bonuses require the worshippers to be on the board. Plus, you're going to get points for those worshippers around. Right. So, yeah, you're going to want some of them on the board. You're also going to want some of them in your afterlife. Depends on what you want. True. So you're going to pick some of them from your afterlife. Whatever you don't choose are going to come randomly from the bag. Also, yeah, you might want certain things to exist in order to place gardens or monuments. So you want to pull, you want to pluck them specific colors directly from your afterlife area. All right. Last but not least is death. When you place death, destroy all the worshipers on the space with death. Boom, gone. You get to choose two of them and claim their souls. <laughs> Placing them in your afterlife, and you're going to put the rest of the worshipers into the bag of life, or is it the bag of death? I don't hmm. know. It could be both. 
So, um, worshippers are never put in a monument space okay. for any reason. So if you're gonna, if you push wind or or if you push wind up against it or fire, if you push the meeples into that space of the monument, they don't move anywhere. They have nowhere to run. All right. So the the I believe so. Would have to hundred percent check with Jay, but I think you're right. That was and yes, you could push. on the wind. You don't have yeah. to choose a three by three square. You just Push them that direction. Right. So you basically, the rules probably need to be tweaked a little to say, you know, choose uh, choose a type of worshiper and a direction orthogonally adjacent to wind. You know, basically north, south, east, west. You can't push diagonal. So, and then everything in a three by three grid in that direction is pushed. Right. And if there's not a three by three grid, then is, there's no discrepancy in the is. rules. Right. So... So anyway, that's that's good to know. Um, yeah. So on, uh, I'll ha I'll have some things to say about the uh, some of the divinity cards uh, as well. Uh, things that are not in the rules. I, I think we've already talked with you about it in chat, Dustin. But um, there are some of the divinity cards that have black on it and some that have rainbow and the rules say they had to have the equal sign on it if they're the same meeple but none of the cards do so these this means that you want to have the six identical same. meeples yes. if they are rainbow then they are different color different. you'll see you'll see that same those same little meeples but they'll have rainbow slashes through them so yeah. you like the rainbows i do no so more rainbows um, make sure I didn't miss anything in the chat. No, I did not. So, um, after you have, uh, placed an element, then you are going to play a card from your hand and carry out its effect or discard at least one card from your hand. So you're probably going to want to play them if you can. Yeah, definitely want to play them. So we've got three different decks of cards over here. We've got the monument deck, which lets you place monuments. You have the garden deck, which lets you place gardens. You have the divinity deck which is all sorts of cool uh, ways, to score. ways to score points for endgame. Yeah. And it's also an endgame trigger. Yes. So that's really important. So It's really important. There are patterns of cards, uh, patterns of figures on here. So <clears throat> uh, this is actually a gray and a red. As you can see, the see-through. <laughs> <laughs> um A gray and a red. If you have a gray and a red meeple, you can put a monument... Or if it's orthogonal, if you have a gray or red orthogonally adjacent to it. There are some that are diagonally adjacent. If I can actually find one. Oh, my goodness. What do you... No, this... I thought... I thought that... Oh, no. You no, put one on you, the this space. This is where you go. That's... The divinities are... Different, yes. Different. So, yeah. If you... If there is a gray and a red, you can put a monument directly on that space. Um, every every monument needs at least one gray, sometimes two. Yes. Always two meeples. Always two meeples. Gray and red, gray and red, gray and gray, gray and purple, gray and purple, gray and green, gray and gray. Oh. As you can see, they always have gray in it. Hey, look what color the cards are. That should help you remember. Yeah. This is, are, this is how you get your monuments down. Yes. The monuments down will help with uh, the purple cards. Yes. Now, you can have more than... Those two colors, but you need at least those two colors. Yes. So it's going to take up the entire space when you put a monument. Put place any of the worshippers and any elements that were in that space. Move them all to one adjacent space, including diagonal is adjacent in this case, right? Uh. Pretty sure. I'm looking. I stumped him. Yeah, I think that's going to be a Dustin question. After you place a monument, score five points for each garden adjacent either orthogonally or diagonally to it. I assume so because you move meeples diagonally. So yeah, I assume so. I agree. You may not place a monument orthogonally adjacent to another monument. Right. Even if it's your own, you can place it diagonally adjacent. Right. As long as as is any other space that is not a monument or a garden. So, um, yes. so that's really important. Um, garden cards are used to build gardens 
and the gardens must be built next to monuments. So, if you have a green and a red, wow, that's that red is just really not showing on the green is really light even. If you have a green and a red that is diagonally adjacent to one of your monuments, then you can place a garden there after you've played this card, obviously. Um, it's not always diagonal, I don't think. No, these all look diagonal. I guess what I was thinking of is that the monuments are always orthogonal and the gardens are always diagonal. And that is indeed the case. Shuffle these up again. Shuffle up, I guess. Shuffle up, I guess. After you place a garden, the owner of each monument adjacent or diag uh, orthogonal or diagonal to it is going to score five points. So five points for placing monuments next to gardens, five points for placing gardens next to monuments. And that's true for both players. Hey, time roller. Yes, can be diagonal or orth orthogonal adjacent. Um, last but not least, we have divinity cards. These are going to be used to perform rituals and score points. Each of them is divided into two parts. The top part is used during the game, and the bottom part is used during in-game scoring. Um, oh yeah, and this is where this is this threw you a little bit. I remember Steph. Yeah. Um, this totally threw. This me. totally. This totally. <laughs> That's threw okay. Her. We're here for a second. This play. is. <laughs> so. Um, and then you've even played before, so... It's been it's years. Changed. I mean, it's, it's, it's January 2018. I don't remember. <laughs> so the top part is going to show an arrangement of worshippers. Uh, it, and it always includes a mystic and a zealot. So they don't tell you what those are, but those are... Well, now I've got to look. Because I, I figured it out. What is the And question? now I don't, I don't remember what... I don't remember what is a mystic and which one is a zealot. Because it, then it says, and I th think it's a purple, because it says after you play one of these ritual cards, sacrifice a zealot. I'm fairly sure they're purple because the cards are purple. And I'm fairly sure, no, no, it's it's, it's the red. It's whatever is pictured, it's, yeah. Well, it's always the red. Yeah. So, it's yeah. It's pictured. It yeah. says a zealot, but they don't, Purple's the rules. mystic, red is zealot. The, yeah, the rules don't say that explicitly. So make sure that you put the gray and the red and the green and the purple with what they're called. Because when you refer to them, and I'm not looking at the card, I don't... It, it really throw, it threw me the second time through <laughs> reading it even. Yeah. Uh, that I don't remember that it's the red ones that go to the afterlife. This is the symbol for the afterlife. Yeah. The iconography is not bad at all. I just wish that there was a page that explained the iconography. Thanks for following. Thanks for following. So, hopefully that helps on the rules. Um, so, um, any monument that's shown on a card in your hand, this has to be your monument. This kid just can't <laughs> be any monument. So, if one of your monument is next to a space with all four colors. Again, there can be more than that, but it has to be at least one of each. Oh, that's good. We also do editing help if you ever need it. We also <laughs> do out we there, all, we any have publishers that need editing work, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, we are playing Elements of the Gods. Elements of the Ta da! You get an empty space here next to the. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, now it's out of focus. No. No. You ruined it, Michael. You're a ruiner. No, I'll try and fix it. You keep talking, I guess. <laughs> Dang it. Well, that's fantastic. Don't do that. Logitech, you are really disappointing me right now. It's bad. <laughs> All right. So as I, now I can't see what I'm showing. Okay, so the red one, which is clear on our overhead, is going to go to the afterlife and you are going to get to play this card for 12 points so if this exists you get 12 points one that red one is going to go to your afterlife all the rest are going to stay and then this is going to go just face down in front of you you've already scored the points for it so um you might say well uh, what is the bottom part for? Well, the bottom part is going to be for the end of the game. Steph thought that you scored these 
uh, these end game points at the bottom if you had scored the divinity card. No, it's actually if you don't score the divinity card. You are going to get, you're going to score points for the worshipers you have gathered around the monuments and in your afterlife using the bottom part of the three public divinity cards. We should yes. have three public cards and the bottom parts oh. of all the divinity cards in your hand. Right. Yeah. Did you not? Yeah. You did I not place those. That. So yeah, <laughs> we need, we need three cards. We'll put those face They have to be up. different types though. Oh yes, they do. You're right. Well, this is the one of the same, so... Which one do you need? Nope, I got that. You got that. How about that one? Got that one. How about that one? Need that one. Need that one. There All right. Those are the three types. All so right. we have one of each type. I'll put them. We'll we'll show everybody here in a minute. Yeah, I'll do this. All right. Smite cards work a little bit differently. Put them over there. Most of them are the ritual cards, but there are some of these smite cards. Thank you for following. I'm gonna put these Yay. right along the edge here. We're gonna cover up our scoreboard for a minute. Terribly bland gaming. <laughs> Let's hope it's not terribly bland. Hey, any gaming's good gaming, right? <laughs> so these smite cards work a little bit differently. And this also threw stuff for a loop. Maybe it was yeah. the rules reader. <laughs> uh, but I did not fully explain it to her that you can only use these if you have chosen death and you have killed six different meeple. Now, here's a question. If rainbow means different yeah, and there are six of them, they can't be different. Does it mean any color? I mean, it's got to be well, at that point. It has to be. Well, we have Dustin here. We can we can have him. Yeah. We can have him describe. Yeah. For now, I am going to assume rainbow means any color. They don't have to be different colors. That's any color. And black means all 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 of those meeples have to be the same color. Right. Right. Yeah. Agreed. So. Um, uh, for now, I assume it can be any, any color. This means any color, no restrictions. Gotcha. So I am going to read, I'm going to change my rules. Rainbow equals any wild. Yes. Miscellaneous. So if I have played death then if I have killed six on my turn, I could play this card for 12 points. That's really good. Yeah. Um, I would always save up my smite cards and then take death, and then she couldn't take her. She <laughs> couldn't take death, so that was sort of fun. The end of the game is triggered when any player plays their fifth divinity card. I thought it was fourth. Maybe it's fifth. maybe the fifth. It's fifth. It's yeah. Uh, if you cannot or choose to not play a card, so you don't have to, even if you can, right? You can discard at least one, but as many as you like from your hand. And then you draw back up to five cards from any decks you choose. Hmm. So that you don't have to play what you drew. Right. We each start off with a hand of one garden. I mean, two garden, two monument, and one divinity card. Not bad. So that's good. Um, so at the end of the game, we are going to score the bottom part of the divinity cards. The ones that we have available to us is one for each gray follower around each of our monuments, three points for each red uh, worshiper in our afterlife, and two points for each red worshiper in a garden adjacent to our monuments. So, looks like we need red for everything in this. <laughs> Which is, well, not everything, not for the not for the one that had the gray, but we need red two different players. Yeah. So we they just played it on game night last Thursday. Oh, the New York Zoo. Yeah, the New York Zoo. Yeah, I want to play New York Zoo. Yeah. Paula and Matthew played it on Tabletopia. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Nice. All right, so uh, all that's left, I think, is just solo play rules, which we do not need, uh, and that is pretty much it. I think the really interesting part of this game is. In selecting the elements, because you have to select from whatever is left. Yeah. Even if you don't necessarily want to play those, right. that's what's available to you. 
So that's sort of interesting. So what are our goals that we're trying to work towards? We want I already, to be... I uh, mentioned that on the stream. If you'd like, you I can to, rewind I to, the video. I got to rewind the video. <laughs> <laughs> How about one for each gray around your monument? I like that. Two, three for each red in your afterlife. I don't even have to look at them. And two for each red in a oh, garden gorgeous. adjacent to your monument. Well, so don't a, even got to look at them. Like They're right, right there. there. Well, yeah, but that, that's not going to stay. Come on. You know that's not going to stay. You don't know me. No, I don't know. All right, what is it? I'm first. You're first, Dean McFirstersons. Yes. Right. Right. Okay, so I got to do a win thing. A win thing? What is a win thing? Yeah, you got to do it. Oh, you mean a wind thing? Oh, yeah. I thought you said a win thing. Oh, an element. Like the opposite an, of a an, loose thing. An element thing. thing, but I don't really have goals at the moment, so... Then you do have goals. Okay. What's, there are goals in your hand. I want the one. I want this one. Let's you want do, water. Let's just put all the reds right here. All the reds in the middle. Come to me, Wee. redlings. Seems. N n n what are you doing? Nothing. Yeah, put that back. Put it back. I was like, what, what are you doing? And uh, I don't know why I did that. I don't have any reasoning for that. So I'm going to put. I also don't know. A monument down right about the. Because you have a monument next to a gray and oh, a monument on on, I just, on I a gray them. gray and purple. And then I draw it back up. So well, my hand is fairly terrible. Oh, I should. What did I do? You should have what? Mistakes were made already. It's already? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Already. Yeah, I'm not good at this game. I'm really not good at this game. Well, you know, I can't comment on that. Yeah. It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Let me take my sweatshirt off. Uh, Hot. Don't strip. Not a sweatshirt. Yeah, I've just, I've got cards that I don't quite like and I don't want to give you certain advantages give me advantages no that's not going to happen well the bad thing is is that I've got I've got monument cards that are identical to one another and that's never good it's probably fine at the beginning of the game I mean it's fine it's fine it's fine no, it's not fine. Why? Because I don't like it. <laughs> Cause... So I am going to have to... You know what? I could birth some meeples. <laughs> oh, but I can't place this. No, I can place that one in an element. Forgot about that. Fine. You know I like it. Yeah. All right, it's a little bit of a risk. Nope. 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 It's not a risk. It's I think fine. it is a risk. Oh. I'm gonna give birth to some meeples. Mm -hmm. One, since I don't have any in my afterlife, I'm just gonna draw them a five, straight out the bag. Did I miss any chat? I don't know if I missed any no. chat. All I see is Derek's thing. Derek. Takes up the whole chat. Yeah, <laughs> and then I don't see anything. So we got a whole bunch of things right there. And that's pretty fantastic for me because I'm going to go and play a card that lets me put one of my monuments down. Right there. Right there. And then I'm going to scoot everything onto, onto the garden. Jeez. It's really, really sad. They're all on the garden now, so that's really fantastic. Now I can choose anything. I think I'm gonna choose. That's rude. A divinity card. It's rude. Oh well, not sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was gonna. So, hmm. Well, I can do. I can do death. You can do death. Yeah. That sounds bad. I get these two. Uh, yep, you do. I'll take those. And then? Mm, I'm going to put a garden down. Oh, yeah? 
Oh, I need five points. Give me my five points for placing my monument next to a garden. I get five points. For putting your garden next to your monument. Yeah. Well, that's You got nice. a fifth card back, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Right. All right, you. So now, notice our choices for elements have decreased, and now you have to do wind or fire. Fairly significantly. So, this is interesting. I'm going to put this here and scatter green meeples. That's rude. Mostly to get them away from you. Why? Because you. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Yeah. I'm going to scatter all the greens away from the fire around that area. And then I have two greens here. I can I must scatter them both, but they must go different directions. So I'm going to place it here and I'm going to place it here. Well, that seems really good for several reasons. Mm. So Dan is out there. Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. And the wind goes. <laughs> What's there? Everything. Oh, that... I mean, you're fine if you wanted to score something. That's really fine. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That does seem pretty fine, especially since they can't blow anywhere. Because that's the only thing you have available to you is wind. Yeah, that's so true. So I'm probably safe right now crafting me a garden. Probably fine. Probably fine. Yeah. Or perhaps crafting me... Crafting me another monument. I am indeed going to craft another monument. Unfortunately, I don't have a garden next to it. Not yet. Not yet. So the monument goes kaboom right here. Yep. And I place them all in one area. Yep. So away from you is the answer to that. Why? That's not nice. Well, you know how it goes. No. Which way do I want to move them? Don't know. I also do not know. Yeah, that gives me options. I like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to draw. Well, here's the question. I think I'm going to draw. Oh, I could do that, I guess. From the Divinity deck. It's all you. Yeah, it is. Right, I'm going to use the wind right here. Use the wind. And move green. <laughs> Back towards you. Yeah. Yeah. You moved them all. Yeah, I did. And then I can um, score that. Yeah. For 10 points, because why not? I got all these dudes. I killed that one in the process. Yes, yes, you do. So, so flip it over. 10 points. Ooh. Seems good. Rolling in it. These things got clumped up. Yeah. All right. All of these come back. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. I'm a winner. You are a winner. I'm something. As Dan would say. You're something. I'm going to kill these reds. That's really not nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to keep them all. I get to keep two of them. Ugh, and you get 16 points. I get that. 16 points. I set you up for success. Hello, smite card. Ridiculous. Oh, yes. Thank uh, you. That's whatever. one. What else are you doing? Uh, oh, is that your card? That, that you is play? that is indeed the card I play. I got you. So now it's my turn. Now I need to draw. Yeah, all right. Now I'm going to draw this. You. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, 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 Don't yep, yep. like that. Nope, don't like it one bit. I'm going to put some... <laughs> some. Some. Somewhere. 
You're going to put some meeples. Yeah. Now, they can start from your afterlife area. I, you mean I can use those? Yes, as your first placements. No. no? If you start drawing, you're not taking those. That's fine. Just making sure. I don't want any. Those are my. Those are my people. I'm here. I can make my own comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna plop a. Plop. I'm gonna plop a monument down right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I guess where are you all going? Yeah, that's five points. I uh. guess we'll come. <laughs> I don't have plans. You don't have plans? No. They all have to go in the same spot. Okay. All of them. All, all of, of them. them. All of them. I, never, I get five. You gave me five points for Yes, that? I did. All right. It's not good enough, but yeah. Well, I can't help you with that. Yeah. Cannot help you with that. Try harder. Uh, No. Yes. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, you might have played it with me when I had the prototype. I, I might have played it twice. I, uh... I, uh... <laughs> I know I played it once, two-player. And we might have played it a second time. Yeah, she played this two years ago. Yeah, exactly. I played it two years ago. We played it at Joe's. Did we? I brought it to Joe's? Scatter Reds. Huh. Maybe I wanted to play it multiplayer after we played it two player. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> Even Dad was like, I think I've played this before. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Steph said. I said. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, red, gray, and purple. In a garden. Diagonal to one of my monuments, right. 15 points. Right. So 21 becomes 36. So she gets this cool big pink block. I've got this little bitty blue disc. Give me another one of these. I've got two down. All you. Uh, where are all the things? <laughs> where are all the things? Hmm. I'm just going to bring, I guess, I'll bring the reds in. Okay. So, oh, I can't put it on the garden, can I? Uh, no, you cannot. That was a good try. That was, that was a, a fantastic try. time to try to cheat. I'll just do this with fire and move red. I don't want to move red. I don't want to move red. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in the middle. Hiya, we'll Misty, if that is your name. If it's in the middle, I can choose the direction? Yes. So these go, I guess, to here. Yes, you don't even have to guess. Sure. That's exactly. No. Oh. <laughs> You're not. No, they didn't they, move. They don't go. He doesn't move. He doesn't go. All right, what am I doing? Oh, putting a garden down. Putting a garden down. Right here. Ten points. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah. That's that's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. You wave it too. Misty. Oh. oh. We haven't sold him yet. Well, no one's given a good enough offer. <laughs> <laughs> no one's offered anything. Shut your face! <laughs> That's irrelevant. Well, yeah. You know, Derek's a good person. He might. He's a he, good he, person. He, he might offer like five <laughs> he bucks. He might offer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he might offer. He might not. <laughs> he might not. <laughs> well, it's truly sad. Yeah. Well, these all suck in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? You're agreeing? <laughs> hey, Doc. Hi, Doc. I am going to... gonna Obviously, I'm going to draw some in somewhere question is where and why and how? where and why i mean that is important the the eh. 
those, those, those are valid questions. Is he Michael Boston tonight? Wicked smart. Oh, I'm wicked smart? No, no. He's never Boston. Never Boston. <laughs> <laughs> never Boston. It's wicked hard. It's wicked hard. <laughs> Draw the reds away from you again. Why? Because I... I just don't like that. Uh, well, then stop me from doing it. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> And then I am going to, I'm going to have to do one of these, I think. I don't know how that's ever supposed to happen. I am going to play this card where if I have all of the colors next to, and I barely do, hmm. I'm going to take the red and 12 points. Whoops. 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 I'm time, time roller. roller. 36 <laughs> becomes 48. No. See ya. No, see ya. No, see ya. <laughs> okay, see you. Okay, see you. Where does that come from? Does anyone know? Okay, okay see you. Okay, see you. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Steph is from New England. So we all get the elements back. Give yes. Them, give them. Give. 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 And then this from the top of yeah, that stack. This is not great. <laughs> I need to, like, move all the colors. Yes. This is you do that. not great. Uh, Dr. Sign is also from New England. Oh, I can go for the garden effect. That's wicked far. Let's go for the garden. You're, you're wanting to draw red. Do you want do you want to start off with these? No. You want to keep them? Yeah. Michael is a Tennessee and through and through, y'all. Uh I am. I don't know about through and through, but yes, I am. Look at that. Boom. Now you have all the colors. That's good, ish. Ish. I guess. You guess. Not All right, really. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop that on top here. I will, I will score this thing for yep. sixteen. Oh, that looks like a fifteen to I me. I mean, for but... fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no. In a garden diagonal, take a red. Yeah. Which you do. Yeah. And you score fifteen points. Thirty becomes forty-five. I thought it was sixteen, but yeah. I'll take fifteen too. Yeah. <laughs> And I need better cards, so let's go for a better. I'm going to kill this entire stack. Wow. It's really rude. Well, it's fine. you didn't, I didn't stop I didn't want it. it anyway. <laughs> you got to stop me from doing things you don't like. No. So I killed that whole batch of worshipers. No. <clears throat> That's so, so good and so bad. So bad. Uh, and then I am going to play one of these fantastic cards. So I am going to play this one for 12 that says I need all four colors diagonally adjacent. Dang. Hey, how about here? No. I'll take yet another red to go in my collection of dead reds. And then I'm going to get my 12 points and 48 becomes 60. Whoops. Uh, I don't know what was there. Uh, I'm fairly sure it was over. Sadly. Hey, thanks for following. Hey, we're playing your game next. You're on deck. Yeah. Stick no around. All right, that's number four. Sovereign Sky. For those of you keeping track. All right, uh, I got to do something with the water and the. Yeah. With the Is it water that I want? I don't know. You keep ruining everything. Well, I'm trying. I can see that. Is it working? No. Um, maybe. All right, I guess I'm just gonna burn. No, burn. Burn, and that's going to move. No. no. Don't like burning. And that's drawing them in. Ugh. Sure. I'll I'm going put... to draw in. What am I gonna do? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'll do purple. Okay. Is that what I want? Dang it. Nah. Yeah. Purple. Let's do purple. Sure. 
Okay, and then? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what am, I can do... Yeah, everything is still there, so I can... Everything is still there. I can play this. All right, you are going to get the red and 17 points. Yeah, it seemed good. 45. 17 points is 62. Wow, you're ahead of me. <laughs> wow, we're good. All right, I need any of these things, I guess. What happens when the end game happens? Because I have four out of five. I know. Then it's like we finish the round and that's it. Uh, what is the round? Oh, you get to talk in a weird voice. What is the round? And you get to tell a joke. Do you have a plant joke? Um, uh, I, no. <laughs> not These are not plants. Oh, it's kind of earth. I'm still looking here. I'm assuming it just says the end of the game is triggered. Yeah, and then you finish the round. That does not say finish the round. Says, well, it says it on my player aid. Oh. When a player plays their fifth divinity card, the game ends after the current round. The first player to five divinity cards gets 20 points. Other players... Oh, we forgot that last yeah, time. That means Michael won by even more. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> it's going to end like right now. Don't do because it. Because... I mean, what, what, I mean, what do I have here? I mean, yeah. I mean, I've got to. No. Yeah, I've got to. No. No. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. Don't do it. Oh, I've got it. I've got enough to do it. La, 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 la. Yeah, I've got enough. Totally got enough to do it. So, I mean, I could have been placing gardens all game because I've had, I've been sitting on this. Yeah. And I've got two places where I could put them. But look, I've got two cards that are identical. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they were. I thought they were identical. No. They were. They had the red here. I could have put it at any time. Right. Yeah. There was my monument cards that were identical. Yeah. They both. Look, they both showed the same thing. Yeah. Which I didn't even put over here. Let us remain friends. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. <laughs> Let me finish my turn and then I will. I will allow me. To complete my turn. And then I shall tell you a joke. And then we will watch Steph sweat burn. and burn. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> well, so you heard there was an auction going on in here. So an auction? I do have a BGG oh, auction in the works. No, no it's Meeple Grande. Oh, we're, we're bidding on my... We're bid <laughs> it's what, Meeple that, Grande. That, that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, Misty has told Meeple Grande... <laughs> that he heard there's an auction. There does seem to be an auction going on in... This is in true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> come to place a bid. <laughs> come, <laughs> have you come to place a bid? It's silent auction, people. <laughs> oh, it's not so silent. Because <laughs> I'm here. <coughs> That's true. Well, I'm going to make sure that you cannot burn my meeples away. So let's put that there and choose red to get blown. And uh, then I'm going to take a real quick and easy and sleazy 10 points. So boost me up to 70, then to 90 for the end game. Ugh, it's just not good. And that's my fifth card. Whatever. And I'm going to draw, obviously draw a purple to cap this off. Oh, that's that's nothing. It's useless. So useless. Yeah. Where, I which, have nothing but fire. You have nothing but fire, which is actually really good. It's not really good. Michael is a silent auction. Is that the joke I used points for? <laughs> don't bid too high. The upkeep will get you. <laughs> actually, I don't cost much. I mean, like... On a long-term basis. I'm mostly, you know, yeah. self-maintaining. Right. All right, so. No. All right, you were talking about a plant joke. What about a rock joke? I mean, there's rocks, there's wind, there's fire. I mean, we could do any of those. Rock lobster. Rock lobster. That actually might be uh, my best play. Dang it. I don't like having... Uh. All right, so in preparation for Steph's death, we will talk about uh, the fact that maybe... Um, she should maybe read a list of 100 things to do before you die. No. Which I read a book on that recently. Yeah. List of a uh, list of 100 things to do before you die. I was very surprised that yell for help was not one of the top answers. Up a down monument. You're not even you're, you're not even paying attention. 
Oh, everybody else is. Uh, that's not good. Like number 37, trip and fall. <laughs> 98, wear a mask. Uh, or don't wear a mask, rather. <laughs> do I get to replenish my hand after I play that? Uh, yes, yes, All you right, do. Because well, I did. Because we have to finish playing out the round. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you only have four cards? Because I have five. Okay, that's all I was wondering. All right, that's the... I didn't get five. Get life insurance. Oh. <laughs> you get it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Steph didn't hear it. Y'all got to hear it. Steph's in there... <laughs> this Did your value just Licking her wounds. <laughs> What did you do? Did you you burn some things towards you or something? Yeah. Yeah. That's whatever. It's it's whatever. I I got five points for putting a monument down. Did you get your five points? I did. Okay. So, now we come up with the end game points. I think all we do is we have the points in our hand. That's it. And the end game points. (laughs) What end game point? Oh, yeah. So, one point for each gray next to a monument. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I count those twice because I have two monuments there. Nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 points in gray. Yeah. 102. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, see you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15. You get 15. Oh, 16. Look at that one hiding over there. Yeah. 16. 67 is uh, 83. All right, that card's done. Done. Three points for each of these fantastic dead people. Yeah. <laughs> 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah. 21 points I will take. 21 no! and 23. That's 123. Oh, oh, you should put little 100, uh, 100 on the back of these tokens if you can, <laughs> Dustin. You should definitely do that. Um, two points for each red or th- uh, no, each red on a garden. You get two points. I get a whopping <laughs> two points. That's it. And that's all everybody gets because yeah. we killed the reds. No, you killed the reds. I killed the reds. Yes. <laughs> Have reports of Steph's death been greatly exaggerated? No. No, I think, I think she is. All right, so let's do yours first to see if you can catch up. Eight. Three points per purple in the afterlife. Did you do that? Yeah. You did that. Yeah, just two now. points for purple in a garden. Six. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, yeah, twelve. Uh, no, it's just, yeah. Next to a monument. Next to a monument, and yeah. so you score that twice. All right, so that's Twelve. One, ten. And then uh, Two grays. for each gray. One, two. Three, four. No. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. Meeple. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. No. And do that one more time. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 points. Yeah. Because it's 2 for each monument. Yeah. That's really I good. I think that's correct. 22. So 32. She is now I've caught seven up. points ahead. Uh, yeah, but it's not going to get much better. Yes, a hundred point marker for sure is coming. Why can't minerals ever lie? They're always in their pure form. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Two points for each green <laughs> in a garden. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Thirty-two becomes forty-two. All right. Can you beat me, likely? This three points per gray in the Nothing. afterlife. Nothing. Good job. Two points for each gray in a garden. Two, Two four. four. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Three points for each red. Ah, uh, boo. <laughs> All right. You should have started with that. 24. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, it, you do it for the effect. I don't like the effect. It's only about eight <laughs> points. 142 to 150. It was a lot closer this game. It was a lot closer this game. And you got your five 20 point bonus, which I, yeah. <laughs> I could have done. I could have done either of these. Like, I could have blown red that way. Yeah. Instead of blowing red that way. Well, and then, you know, I could have been placing yeah, more guard. These are this, 10 points a turn. I, I figured could do. getting that down was better than trying to randomly get good cards. Yeah, because, well, you scored this about 20 times. Yeah. That so helps. that was good. Yeah. Um, I, I have to say, I probably like this even better the second play. Yeah. 
Um, well, we know what we're I, doing, and I, at least I know what I'm I still doing. think that the that the goal of the game is not necessarily to get a bunch of monuments and gardens down. I find that drawing the divinity cards and just working off of that really seems to be the winning strategy. Yeah. On this game, because I had two monuments the first game I won, and you had like three or four monuments. I had. Out. I think I got all my monuments down the first game. Yeah. But I, I also was playing for the cards that I had already scored. So oh, the end, goodness. The, the end goals on those cards. So I was totally, like, misplaying. So, yeah, she <laughs> opposited every, uh, all of that. No, I just thought the yeah. cards that I scored yeah, that's were what I'm also saying. the ones that I was They were with. also the ones, yeah, and so, that's what I'm saying. So you you were playing opposite. Yeah, I just, yeah. It was yeah. Not, it was not good. So, better this time. <laughs> Yes. I like it. I mean, definitely have played it before. They didn't change anything from the they original didn't. time. Yeah. Well, then why are you not publishing this already? Get going. Get, I mean, I know, the, I know the Kickstarter is on now, right so now. that's good. Okay, so as, <laughs> as someone who took seven years to get their game out, I, I totally understand. I mean, mine was licensing issues. Right. And then insurance issues. They... Made you get? They made us get IP insurance, mm. and nobody knows what that is. Mm. Nobody, no insurance companies <laughs> do not know what this is. No. Uh, and then NBC said, "Oh, we're only going to check if you get sued." After we searched for it for nine months and found it and got it, wow. then they then they said, "Oh yeah, it really doesn't matter unless we get sued." And, and then by that point, I've already lost nine more months. Yeah, so it's a long I understand. Time. Sometimes it takes a long time to get these things going. I mean, you would not understand how much back and forth. It takes uh, between publishers and manufacturers to make sure that something like this looks right. Yeah. We had reversed. We had reversed numbers. We had a reversed number one oh, on yeah, our die, yeah. yeah. and we said no, fix it. It took six weeks to fix, and then it was reversed. Still, yeah, no. still, it was that was dice issues. It but. was, and yeah. So, so yeah. I understand that it takes a while to get this out, but this should this needs to get out. Yeah, it's do, I think it's doing well on Kickstarter, which is That's good. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, if somebody has the link, Derek, uh, uh, Dustin, if you've got the link I think uh, to the Kickstarter. He's, he's been posting um, the big, huge thing, which includes a Kickstarter link. <laughs> probably whisper it to Derek or one of us, and we'll get it on there. So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, um, and I'm not usually a fan of abstract games. I but know. I wasn't sure you were going to like this, this one. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not a fan of abstracts. I'm not generally a fan of abstracts, but uh, this has enough of the victory point cards. I think that really and helps it's out. it's pretty quick. So it's like you're doing a lot of It doesn't overstay its time. welcome. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, my only complaint is that it seems almost too easy to push that victory because... I can usually find a way to score those divinity cards. Yeah. So I know that uh, and they try to limit it a little bit by making you pull reds off as you... I had trouble with one of mine because it, it was an adjacent garden. And you're not likely to have an adjacent garden because you have to build them diagonally. No, you don't have to build gardens diagonally. I thought you did. Well, most most of them, most of oh. the garden oh, cards yeah. are diagonal. Oh, yeah. You build, you build them diagonally. No. Let me see. Yeah, you build them diagonally. Yeah, and so, so yeah, that's why it's harder to get a you have to that's have, next to it. Yeah, you have to have something like that's this and then build it and then it's adjacent. Exactly. So that's why I, eventually that would have been more beneficial to me. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so uh, there are some cards that are clearly harder to fulfill than others. For example, let me let me show this one off. Where is it? It's one of the cards I ended up with. Oh my goodness, this. This seems ridiculous. Yeah, you can actually create the gardens I, I there. Would have had, I could have had that. But it's 20 points. Yeah, you totally could have had it. I'm glad you didn't have it because that's 20 points. I wanted points. something like that. I didn't have anything that was beneficial to this setup here. But now that you mention it, that might indeed be more I think difficult. It, I, it, I, was, I was holding on to that card. I'm like, I can't get rid of it. So I can see why discarding cards is a beneficial turn if you have no good play and you want to just a whole hand of maybe purple cards just or don't some, play anything yeah and, just, and get and just new discard, ones yeah because you can discard any number of cards right so like if yeah if, if, so, at the end of the game if you know you don't have a lot of cards uh that will score you points right. at the very end of the game discard all five i might have should have discarded five yeah 
Although, but I had that. I had the one that scored three for the red and <laughs> no, the yeah, afterlife. I'm like, that's too good. <laughs> no, I could have discarded the other four though. Yes, but you ended it instead. I ended it instead. Yeah. But at the end, I probably could have done that. Bye. I mean, like, or I could have. I could have waited till next round to end it. Yeah. And then come in for a soft landing because you were fifth. Yeah. That would have put me first, third, and fifth. Right. I could have ended it on turn one. Or soft landed it or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There there, there are other things I could have or done. Or made but, it gone one full round longer. But I thought I had you more than I had you. Right. That's so, true. So, yeah. I was feeling okay. But that 20 points I knew I was... I, could, I couldn't get my fifth card she down She couldn't get 15, her five cards so. out quick. Yeah. Yeah. But no getting way. but getting these out yeah. gave you a lot more points. Yeah. And I was just I took I took my fifth I took my fifth card risk. Yeah. Of trying to push it. Which I did on the first game and you and you lost only because you didn't know what you were scoring. That's the only reason that's not the only reason. But that's one of the main reasons why you lost. And I'm like, you wanna just play it again? She's like, No, I'll just play it on the stream. Just play it on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so 142, yeah. my score to 150, his score. Yep. Yeah. If uh, I can't wait till till we get the real one, Dustin. If you could send us a copy of this when you actually get it. Yeah, I'm interested. Because I actually I want I want I want one of these that actually <laughs> that looks <stands> up. <laughs> fantastic. Because right now we're just like balancing the little <laughs> treetop on the tops of the maples. <laughs> No, nah, it's cool. I know we like it. Yeah, it's a cool game. Yeah, it's a cool um, game. So that is currently on Kickstarter. If we haven't said it, go enough, back it right now. Go yeah, check it out. Absolutely. Um, uh, side room games. Yeah, elements of the gods. Yeah, so that looks cool. We have this one, but that one. Yeah, looks this cool. is this is my. Movie. That is yours. Yeah. This, is my this one I don't see anywhere. Mm, is it this thing? No, it's different though. This it's one looks different. like the yellow. That does look like the yellow. But yeah, yeah, I like the I like the box too. Anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. More happy.